Hey Wompers and welcome to another follow along video from start to finish. We've been really happy to see how many of you gave the cup from the last video a go and how much of your own creativity you have put into it. So in this one we are going for the famous 3D donut but we are able to make it a lot faster in one thanks to the SDF based workflow. So let's dive right into it. Now to start any kind of creation we want to go to our top bar and open up the primitives menu. For a donut we can start with a basic cylinder. If we hover over the edges of our shape we can scale it down. And now that the primitive is selected it will open up its properties menu at the right. Here we want to increase the roundness to 100%. If we then scroll down, we can also make change to the color. And if we have a close look at how a donut looks, it's usually the darkest part or the most burned part is at the bottom. And we also want to increase the roughness since the base of the donut isn't really any reflective or shiny. And now we can just simply copy this shape by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V, or alternatively, you can also just hold Alt and drag it out and now we want to do the middle part, which is a bit, a little bit lighter. And we just want to place it right and give it a bit of variation. For example, we can turn it a bit smaller or give it some rotation. And then we want to increase the goop strength just slightly. We can also type in numbers to give it more accurate values. Now, after that, we want to copy the first shape again and bring that at the top. Like this we create this a little bit lighter effect that the donut has in the middle. And just like that we pretty much already have the base to work with. And now to, to get our hole into the donut, which makes it a donut, we basically copy one of those shapes again and this time we scale it a lot smaller but longer so we can subtract a, a full hole into it. And then we go to the object's properties menu at the right and turn it into a negative in the behavior. Now what happens is that it will subtract from the primitives, but it seems like there's not a full hole into it. And that is because our negative is not at the very bottom of the scene list. It will always affect all primitives above it. Now we can see we have a picture perfect hole but to make it more natural or organic, we want to increase the goop strength from the inside. And just like that, you can see how it really already looks like the base of a donut. Play around with how big you want the hole to be as well. And now we can group this together in the scene list. Just select all of your primitives and turn it into a union. Now we can call this donut base. Copy this union just by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V again. Now we can call this the donut top. And then we just want to go ahead and delete the two extra shapes that we did for the base, because now we can simply drag this up, change the color to something that's more like, you know, this is now the sugar coat, the top of the donut. And here you can of course make everything. You can make a chocolate donut, strawberry, banana, whatever you like. Um, for this we want to bring down the roughness a little bit because the sugar coat is usually a bit more shiny And then we just adjust the color also of the negative of course because otherwise we won't really See see that it's just the sugar coat now and then we just bring it down We maybe scale it up a little bit so it overlaps it and then we just make little adjustments until we find it perfect um, it really helps to make the inner part a bit smaller for this one and here we go a really wonderful basic donut that we've created now in less than five minutes um, but we can make this even better of course first let's bring in a few more details to the structure making it a little bit imperfect for that we just copy our negative that we already have in the inside and bring it to the outside of the donut and now we just bring it a little bit uh, around the donut here and there. Let's play around with the goop strength just to, you know, blend it a little bit. Give it that little bit of tipping and dripping down. And yeah, just some imperfections that make it look more organic, more natural. 
just how donuts are. Here really helps to look at references and see how it actually is in real life and how you can replicate that. And we can do the same then also for the base of the donut. By doing the same with the base of the donut, we really give it more of a feeling that's not as static, but more, you know, this fluffy kind of imperfect little thing. And that really helps to sell the realism as well and just the overall looks of the donut. It just gives it more personality to it. And yeah, I think that looks really nice. Now, another thing that we can do is really go more in with that, you know, dripping thing. And for that, we can copy our base shape again, rotate it in a 90 degrees angle, which you can do more easily by holding down shift, which lets you rotate in a 45 degrees angle. And then we scale it like really small, bring it onto the donut there and just place it a little bit and combine it with the gooping. That really gives it this extra little touch. And then we come to the last part of the actual donut details, which are the sprinkles. For that, we get out a new cylinder, we scale it very long and very small. Then we just, you know, we drag it with the, with the gizmo, with the arrows onto the right position. We rotate it onto the donut. So it's usually, you want to make it really feel like it's really laying on there or almost sinking into the chocolate. And then you can also give it, you know, your favorite colors. If you want yellow sprinkles, pink, red, you can choose anything there. there. They come in all colors, I feel like. Just make sure they're not too long and adjust the sizes a little bit. I really recommend to adjust um, color and size very individually for each of them. And just make a few, you know, you can just make a few on, on one of the sides of the donut. And then to speed it up, you can copy all of them together and just rotate them a little bit along the donut and then make individual changes again. That is definitely the process that takes up the longest time of making this donut, but this is how you can speed it up a little bit. Okay, so if you gave your donut a little bit more effort with the details and polish, it might look like something like this. And now we want to make it even more beautiful in its presentation by giving it some love in the lighting. So first we want to turn off the floor grid in the lights and environment panel and then choose a global lighting. The global lighting is really important and very individual to each creation since it displays the color, lights, brightness, shadow, all of that very differently. So choose it carefully and once you've found your global image, play around with the exposure. This is the brightness on how this global image affects your creation. And then we can also add some individual lights. We can use a dome light to give it an even more stronger original light source. It's like the key light that shines onto your creation. You can give that a slight warm tone that would usually come either from the sun or lights within like the flat or home. And we, I can also recommend to play around with the rectangular light. This is a very strong light source that goes in one direction. Here we can face it straight onto the donut or you can try around and do that from the side. I also like to give that a fairly warm color as well. And then I like to, you know, bounce out the shadows with a more bluish or purplish color. Just like that, you can create, for example, a warm tone from one of the sides and a more cold tone and color from the other side if you want. Just play around with it a little bit and see what is appealing to you. Lighting is really fun and can level up your creation so, so much. So make sure you take the time for that and yeah, just experiment. Another thing that we can do is actually give it a solid physical floor. 
that kind of changes how your creation is displayed as well and if we want we can even go in and change the material from a more rough tone to a completely reflective tone so we have a very cl crystal clear reflection of our of our model and with that have a really nice presentation of it as well you can kind of blur it out if you put a bit of roughness on it but usually you get the shiny and reflective effect if you have a bit of metalness on your creation with no roughness and then make sure your creation is fairly centered remember you are the camera and then we click on the share button at the top to publish it to our community here we can type in a title for our creation we can give it some hashtags just make sure they fit the topic they are labels that people can click on to find them and you can also change your copyright settings so if you don't want anyone to use this or remix it you can change that in the copyright settings and then you can publish it to the community and yeah that's about it i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial or that you found it helpful we would love to see your versions of the donut give it some character some of your own creativity and love or just follow along and make the most simple donut it's a good start anyways and yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video